Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen, and it's my birthday today, 53. So I thought I would incorporate 53 into today's workout. We're gonna do killer combinations. So multi-muscle, multi-joint, lots of compound exercises. I'm gonna do 53 of them. We're gonna make it a no repeat, and your format will be 45 seconds of work with 15 seconds in between. You're only at each exercise one time, so make sure that you hit it hard, but lift within your own abilities. Grab a variety of dumbbells for the workout today. There's the dumbbells that I used in this workout, so take a look at the screen there. I'll also list them after each exercise at the top of the screen, so be sure to check out what I'm lifting and then lift according to your ability. I'll start you with a warm up and end with a cool down. Hey, if you're looking for another Another birthday workout. I have a couple on this channel, so click or tap the card at the top of the screen or in the description below and try that one another time this week. Okay, it's time to celebrate what we can do. Are you ready to move daily? Let's do it. Okay, strength is on the watch today. Let's give ourselves a good warm up before we start. Big circles. Switch directions. And some round houses or hip openers here. And I'm gonna go the opposite direction from the back to the front for 10. Last here. And we'll hinge at the waist, knees are soft. Let's give a good reach and stretch here. And switch and reach. And switch. wide, let's touch our toes. Opposite hand to foot. And a side to side lunge. Here. Good. Turn those toes right out. Feet are closer. Reach overhead here. Very good. Let's finish off here. Alrighty, there's the first set of exercises. Only once. Are you ready? Let's do it. All right, I think I'm just gonna start with my 15s on this pinwheel curl hammer curl combo. Go lighter if you like. I usually lift 15s on this bicep. Starting with a hammer, then right into that pinwheel. These are soft. Hammer here, then one on each. Right here and here. Good. Elbows are in on that hammer curl.
I'm grabbing eights for my lateral lunge, reverse lunge, lateral raise. Threes or fives would be good here too. We're dropping it low, hitting that lateral at the bottom. Alternating sides, here we go. Low, lateral, knee here. Low, raise, and knee. Good. Don't fall. <laughs> I will call half. All right, switch sides. Low, lift, and knee here. Grab 110 for that squat front raise. You can lift at the top if you don't like lifting at the bottom. I'm going to do it from the bottom. Get shoulder width, drop it low, and raise. Grab those eights for that plie wide press. Heart rate starting to climb super wide. We're gonna press out to that Y position. Drop it low and press. for my deadlift front squat alternating front lunge. Starting with that deadlift, knees are soft, and then pop it for your front squat. Deadlift here, pop in front, drop and lunge, left and right. Back to deadlift, and squat, and lunge. down and a wood chop. Nice low. I'll call half. Drop it low. Sides. <sighs> 
Nice. And into that clean and snatch. I'm gonna stick with the same weight. Wide stance. Drop that sumo squat. We drop and snatch. Watch your face. Last one here. Switch sides. I'm gonna take my other 15 down to the ground here. Do a chest press alternating knee lift all right so hips are up we're gonna press a knee other side press a knee slow and controlled over the chest with the dumbbells I'm gonna move into a tricep press sit up. If you don't wanna do the sit up, just stick with this tricep press straight up and down. I'm gonna tricep press, and then sit all the way up with the dumbbells close to my body. All right, so I tricep press here. Bring them in and sit. Back, press in and sit. Stay down here for your bear hover uh, plank pass. All right, one dumbbell. Hop into bear position plank. And we're gonna reach under and pass that dumbbell. All right, mod from the knees if you like. Otherwise you hover, reach and pass. Nice, into that blast off push up. Plank position, we're gonna reach it back, and then come up and push up either from the knees to mod or from your toes. Here we go.
nice, stay down here. Kneeling curl press. I'll call halfway and we'll switch. I'm gonna hold a 15. I'm gonna curl, press, and then I'll switch legs and hands. Here we go. Boom, boom, elbow stays close. One more on this side and switch. Very good. Going into that static lunge with a halo. All right, we're gonna stay in this position. Halo, up and down, reverse directions. So, drop it low, halo, up, down, reverse directions. I'll call half on the leg. Stay on this side. Elbows are up. Switch sides, drop it low, and halo, up, down, low, reverse halo. I'm holding my fives. For this bicep serve, single side, single side, and then to a crisscross. So elbows are in, palms are up, knees are soft, single here, single, single, double crisscross. Good. One, two, both, and crisscross. Grab a lighter weight for my pendulum swing iso hold. So just an eight, because I want to keep my core nice and balanced and back tall. I'll call halfway. Hand us to the ceiling. Let's lunge front and back. Stay with me here. All right, switch sides, other hand hold. You have a 30 second water break coming up. If you don't need the rest, just go ahead and uh, continue this until I'm back on the screen. Oh, I need the rest, good job. A nice round the world lateral. Uh, I think I'll try eights. The threes or fives are good too. This is gonna be challenging. So you're gonna curtsy lunge and then a full round the world lateral at, in the middle, okay? Alternating. So you're here.
Okay, setting those down. Grabbing just lighter weights here. We're gonna hit that lateral raise into that squat with the front combo. Roll those shoulders back. Here, drop front and stand. into your pull complex. It's a bent over row, hammer curl, high pull. I'll grab 12s. All right, make sure you're all the way up before you hit the, the hammer curl. Hinge here, and we row, full stand, hammer high pull. I'm going to make my way to the ground. I'm going to keep those 12s, bring in fives as well. And we'll start off with one five with that starfish toe touch pass under. Here we go. So we touch here. Now pass it under and switch sides. Eliminate the weight if you'd like. And lie straight flat on your back here for lower impact, okay? Very nice, I'm grabbing those 12s. For my flutter kick, tricep extension. All right, eliminate the legs if you'd like. Just bending at the elbow for the triceps. So we're flutter and flutter. Down and press. I want you to push your back into the ground. Again, we wanna focus mostly on those triceps, so eliminate the legs if you need. I'm staying down here for that chest fly with the 12s. Then I'm gonna pair that with a nice glute bridge. Rounded arms. So everything is gonna be up, or hips are up while arms are down, and vice versa. Here we go.
All right, grabbing that five, I'm gonna go into a side plank with a nice little shoulder press. Mod the plank here, and press here, and I'll call half. All right, here, here, here. Too light of a weight, I should head to eight. Oh well. Four, three, two, one, and switch. Moving quickly, up and press. Switch back to the other side. You're gonna do a crunch V-sit here, and then a straight leg V-sit here, all on your side. We're gonna stay on each side for 45 seconds. Start with your crunch. Little crunch here, now V-sit here, up. Now we're starting to feel it. We needed a little bit longer than 22 seconds, didn't we? Woohoo! That was good. Switching sides. See, now you get a nice little break. Crunch. Straight leg, obliques, here we go. Crunch it here, and V. All right, I'm gonna grab those 12s again for a crush grip. So I'm these dumbbells are touching together if you can, or as close as you can, into a tricep extension. Touch, touch, or close. Here we go. You're gonna press it up and back. Watch your skull, up and down. I want to stay down here for one more with those 15s, just so we can maximize our time on the floor. Single side chest press with a frog glute bridge, so toes are together. Both arms are up, singles down, so you're single. Other side, single. Feet touching, knees open, over the chest. I'm gonna give you just a few seconds to stand to make sure you're not dizzy before we head into the next one. Grab a quick water if you need. Nice. 
All right, off you get. I'm gonna stick with those 12s for my bicep curl, reverse grip press. My palms are in, or sorry, up, elbows are in. These are soft and we'll do a nice curl with the press watch to your mouth and chin. So, curl, press, breathe, down, and down. Now be sure not to arch your back on that press and don't look at the dumbbells either. Look straight ahead. a little bit for that polyquin raise, but an eccentric polyquin raise. So I think I'll go with fives. All right, slow on the down phase, nice and slow. Let's hinge at the waist, bend those arms to start. So we're up, kick, slow, two, three, and bend. Up, kick, slow, two, three, and bend. Good, I'm gonna go into the eights for my reverse lunge with the front raise. So we did the lateral at the very beginning. We're gonna front raise, but at the top. Alternating lunge, so take it low, front right here. Going into that static lunge with a switch. Remember at any time too, you can eliminate the lower body. Focus on the upper if you'd like. I'm holding eight. One to the ceiling, one here, and I'll call half. Switch in the center. Switch, press, switch, press. legs, switch in the center. I'm gonna go with 115 for my one arm row, static. We're still bicep curl, spider curl. We'll row it here, prop yourself up on your leg, and I'll call half. So we row, and then curl right here. Try to make that dumbbell come up by your cheek without letting that elbow jump back. Last one here, switch your side. I'm 
I'm gonna go into a King Kong with my 12s. Squat, curl, press. Okay, nice wide stance for the sumo. Drop it low, curl, press to the ceiling. into that lateral lunge, lateral raise combo. I think we'll stay on the same side for 45. I think we need it. Lunge low, here we go. So we reach and pop it here. Slow and controlled. I want you to stick your chest out. Slight pause at the top, even if you can. Stay with me on this side. Switch insides, switch hands. All right. Lunging this way, and lateral, there we go. All right, down on the ground. And I'm gonna take those 15s for my circle chest press. We're gonna hit that glute bridge at the same time. Feet close to the bottom, palms facing your chin to start. And we press up and turn away and come down in that circle shape. Stay down here for the double leg raise, ISO hold with the single dumbbell. Okay, we'll stay on our backs. I'm gonna hold 115. Okay, make sure you have a good grip on it, please. Push your back into the ground, single legs to modify. You're here, here, good. All right, so your modification would just be one at a time. We'll stay down here for your up-down plank coming up. All right, flip it. Oh, 
over. Nice. Up down plank and then we're gonna walk a bear hop in and back, but you could hop it if you'd like. Bum down, knees to mod, elbow, elbow, hand, hand in and back. Okay, into that boat rocker press while we're down here. I've got my eights. All right, feet are here to start. We rock and press, rock and press. Standing for the plie bicep curl. A little 12s. There you are. Wide stance, make sure you're not dizzy. All right, curl at the top. We'll drop it low, stand and curl, elbows in. Holding one of those 12s for my squat abduction press. Get these guys out of the way. All right, I'll call halfway and then we'll switch sides. Drop it low. Abduct and press. Opposite hand and leg. Here. Switching sides. I'm going to drop down to an eight. For my alternating front lunge twist press, All right? You can turn and press. You don't want to hit that lunge. Here we go. Drop it low. Press sides. Final water break coming up just before our last push. If you don't need the rest, keep this going until I'm back on the screen. Yikes! 
Too bad I wasn't turning 40, hey? We'd be done. But no, I had to be 53. I'm gonna go lighter on this one, just with my eight. Squat, reverse lunge, press. You can press at the top to make it a little easier. I'm gonna press at the bottom of that lunge. Arm is here, I'll call half. We squat. Low, stay low and press. Switch. Let's go into that squat twist. I, I, I think I'll hold 15. I'll go half. Nice side lunge. Pull it up and twist. Go lighter if you need. Last one here, switch your side. All right, we're gonna do a front squat Pulse at the bottom with an Arnold. I'll hold 12s. Front rack. Feel a little wider than shoulder width. And pulse. One pulse Arnold here. Grabbing eight for my lateral raise with an overhead tricep extension combo. Okay, arm is down. This arm is up and I'll call half. Tricep first, so extension, lateral. I think we need to stay on the same side. Stay with me. And up. All right. I had to do 45 because normally I'd lift a little bit heavier on the tricep, but I had to stick with eight for the lateral, so I needed to increase duration there. Switch your side, tricep first, and lateral. Keep your core engaged, squeeze those abs, pop. Let's go. A 
was hard. That was getting me at the end there. All right, we're gonna do a wide row into a standing bicep curl. I'm holding 12s. Hinge at the waist. 90 degrees on the elbow here. We pop it up, turn, standing curl. I'm gonna hold on to a 12 for that side lunge curl press. I'll call halfway on this guy. Raise your hips back, curl and press with a high knee. Here we go, your low curl press. All right, take a step, switch sides, and lunge. I'm gonna go into a round the world lunge. Without weight for me, front, lateral, reverse, then switch legs. Give yourself some space. Here we go with the front lunge. Drop it low, to the side. Reverse, switch legs. Moving into that lawnmower, I think I'm just gonna hold a 12. We're gonna, it's like a clean and snatch, but on the diagonal, instead of straight up and down. Wide stance, I'll call half. Last one here, and switch. Squat iron cross. I'm gonna hold eights. This will be a challenge. Okay. Two more exercises. Squat first, then ceiling. Squat, ceiling, side, center, and down.
And the ultimate deadlift and the ultimate of combinations is our last. I've got my 12s. Starting with that deadlift. All right. High pull, squat curl press. Let's go, deadlift. High pull here, squat curl press. Last 15 seconds, stay in the pocket with me. Let's celebrate all of the things you can do. Doing well. Good move. In four, three, two, one and done. Woo! Happy birthday to me. You don't look like you're 53. <laughs> Maybe you do. Some days I do though, that's the thing. Um, I'm a little under the weather right now, so I didn't want to do anything cardio, but that was a good cardio blast anyway, wasn't it? All right, walk it out. Do a couple of those physiological sighs. Double inhale, slow exhale to the count of six, and then join me on the ground for a stretch. Let's take it down to pigeon to start here, okay? Oh, my lanta. That was aggressive. Good work, everyone. Definitely a total body, just a little bit of everything. Great way to increase your caloric expenditure because we're moving quickly, right? We're not giving a lot of time for recovery. Uh, so that's gonna increase your heart rate, which is great. If you're looking to burn body fat, you, you have an increase in energy expenditure in a workout like this, for sure. Switching sides. Uh, these types of workouts can also keep you interested in fitness because they're different and fun and they're not monotonous. Sometimes the good old standards, uh, the classic lifts, your big five lifts, you know, your chest press, your squat, your deadlift, your bent over row, and your military press, that's gonna get you some good size and sculpting in your body, but sometimes it can be a little bit boring too, right? I saw this guy over on TikTok and I like him and I was following him, well, I still am, but he just railed at people who do like compound exercises like this. <laughs> like, he's like, that's not gonna get you, blah, blah, blah. And I don't know if he was speaking to men, I don't know who his target audience is, but I thought about it for a while, and then I thought like, why do I do exercises like this? And a big portion of it is so that I stay interested. I know I'm still moving my body, perhaps I'm not optimizing for muscle increase, but I'm certainly working at muscle maintenance. Right? There was, I mean, I feel trembly and shook. I'm increasing my cardiovascular, my VO2 max has to push and be challenged by a workout like this. So I like that because I want to train that peak. I, will, I not just do zone two cardio where I'm training my lungs and heart for endurance, but I also want to train the peak so that it's available to me as I age. And I think a workout like this can do that very nicely. Lifting heavier, heavier weights and doing three to four sets can also increase your heart rate, of course. But even the fast movement, the agility, the, you know, the brain that it takes to do all of these movements together, I think is great. So you can stuff it, guy. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, you know, I, I, I see his point. I know, what he, I know what he's saying. It's like the other day I did this balanced one arm row, okay? And I used to teach clients this all the time. Uh, it was like in a balanced video that I did, how to improve your balance or stability. So one leg was out behind, I'm hitting a one arm row. Am I gonna be able to lift as heavy a dumbbell if I have one leg out behind me in a in, like at a bird pose? No, I'm not, because I'm not as stable to the floor. I'm not grounded on the floor. If I have both legs on the floor and I'm pulling heavy, I'm gonna be able to lift, you know, maybe a good 30, 35 pounds for reps. Now, what's my target? Do I also want to include things that keep me adhering to exercise, so fun and, and variety? Or do I want to um, also work on things like stability and balance? Is that part of my future plan to work on me? Yes, it is. And so ergo, that's why I would include something like that. And he, he may not because maybe he's training people who are 
solely wanting to train for muscle increase, in which case that's smart, you know, then he's got a point. <laughs> but anyway, it's always interesting. It's always interesting when you go down the TikTok tunnel or the Instagram reel scroll. <laughs> sometimes I hate it. Do you hate it sometimes too? You're like, I can't anymore with this. It's just crazy pants. Anyway, all right, well, happy birthday to those June people celebrating. Um, it's a good month. A lot of people are born in June, I find. What, what does that mean? When did our parents have sex? September? <laughs> what was happening then? I don't know. But summer babies, right? Uh, I look at my Facebook feed and it's like 40 birthdays today. I'm like, oh my goodness. All right. That was really great. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for helping me move daily in my 53 years of life and stay fit and healthy. It feels good to be where I'm at right now in terms of my fitness, wellness, and nutrition. Uh, I want to continue on this trajectory, and I know that with you along the ride, that we're going to get there. So thank you so much. All right, see you in the next workout.